Let's say I wanted to use the factor theorem to completely factorise this cubic. So, first of all, um, I would spot that all of these terms uh, have a factor of 3. So you could factor the 3 out first, if you like. So we'd have 3 lots of x cubed minus 6x squared plus 11x minus 6. OK? So that would be the first thing. Right, so I'm not going to bother trying any numbers that aren't factors of minus 6. So I would try 1, minus 1, 2, minus 2, 3, minus 3. OK? So first of all, f of 1. So f of 1, substituting 1 in, I'm going to get 3 lots of 1, take away 6, plus 11, take away 6. So 1 take away 6 is minus 5. So just pop it into the calculator if you like. 1 take away 6 plus 11 take away 6 is 0. So that's 0. So 3 lots of 0 is 0. So therefore, x minus 1 is a factor. Brilliant. OK, so next up, I would try minus 1. So f of minus 1 will be 3 lots of. Well, minus 1 cubed is minus 1. Uh, take away 6. Take away 11. Take away 6. So minus 1. Take away 6. Take away 11. Take away 6. And then times that by 3 is minus 72. OK, so f of minus 1. X plus 1 is not a factor. So... Can't use that one. So next one, I try f of 2. So f of 2, we'd have 3 lots of 2 cubed, so 8. Take away 6 lots of 4, so 24, plus um, 22. Take away 6. So we've got 8, take away 24, plus 22, take away 6. Oh, that's 0. OK, so 3 lots of 0 is 0. So therefore, x minus 2 is a factor. OK, so um, what we've got already is x minus 1 times x minus 2. Then we need to get minus 6, so we would have to multiply by minus 3. So substituting in f of 3 should get a 0. So that should be the next one that we would look for. Um, however, just to kind of keep going logically, we would have tried f of minus 2 next. So this shouldn't be 0. Minus 2 cubed is minus 8. Um, Take away 6 lots of 4, so minus 24. Uh, take away 22, take away 6. So minus 8, take away 24, take away 22, take away 6, uh, times by 3 is minus uh, 180. Just to make sure I've done that right. Yes, so minus 180. So no, that didn't work. So f of 3. From what we've just said, we think that should work. So 3 lots of uh, 3 cubed is 27. Uh, 3 threes and 9, so minus 54. Uh, plus 33. Uh, take away 6. So 27 take away 54 plus 33 take away 6 gets a 0. So that's 0. So therefore, x minus 3 is a factor. So that means that we have our three factors, three lots of x minus 1 times x minus 2 times x minus 3. OK, now, obviously, um, using the factor theorem throughout, um, you know, if you were doing this in practice, um, it's quite laborious um, and it is really hinging on you being able to find um, a whole numbered root. Um, and that's really the problem, because in general, cubics won't have those three roots. In the problems that you face in the exam, probably, yes, you probably will. But, you know, if you're working with cubics or cortics or quintics generally, the likelihood is no. But... The idea is there, OK? So it will work. And that is how the factor theorem uh, can be used. Um, so in the next video, we're going to see how we solve some problems using them.